Hello everyone, I'm the Ninja Turkey, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. So, last time we got here, uh, fought the Monstar, and, uh, now we need to figure out how to advance to the next area, which I actually know how, um, I looked it up off-screen. Uh, we're just gonna avoid these enemies for now, because I've, I've pretty much fought all these guys. What I should also mention, um, I'm a little sick, um, so if my voice sounds a bit off, and uh, if I cough or something, I do apologize, but I just felt like recording. I mean, I know it's kind of not a good idea to record when you're sick, but I don't know. I wanted to do it, so I'm doing it, so, you know. Uh, but basically, what we need to do... Um, here, hold on. My There we go. My TV volume was on too loud. Um, basically, to advance to the next area, we do need... Uh, we need a bucket, and we got a scarf last episode, um, and to get the bucket, we need to talk to the mayor, I believe, and then we need to put it on those snowmen, and, uh, that's how we move on, so I believe this is where we want to be. Let's see. Hey, bitch. <laughs> oh, Mario, did you, re did you reach Starborn Valley? Did you see Merla? Oh, excellent. He said what? An item ha that has been passed down in this city? Um, oh right, there was something like that. Just a minute, I think I've got it somewhere. Yep, bucket. Yes, I found it. Here it is. You got a bucket. Cool. This bucket has been passed down through the years in Shiver City. As Merla must have told you, there's a legend associated with it. If you use this and the scarf together, the way to the Crystal Palace will open. Who knows what all that means, though, ha ha ha. I don't have the slightest clue as to how to use them together. Sounds like those star kids in Starborn Valley are in trouble. I hope you do your best for the... or for the little tykes. They're just kids. Best of luck to you. <coughs> cool. Do you have anything to say to me? Oh, hello there, Mario. My husband tells me you're looking for the Crystal Palace. What an exciting adventure. You're like a hero in a novel. Imagine that being in a story. Nothing to say about how you framed me for murder, and I clearly wasn't the one who killed him. No. What a jerk. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, now we need to take the bucket and the scarf to the snowmen at the uh, outside of town, and then the uh, way to the next place should open. God, it is, it is hot in here. Like, it's freaking October 29th, and the apartment people, uh, they winterized our swamp cooler. And even though it's almost November, it's, like, still freaking hot here because I live in a desert, pretty much. And they just, they winterized it way too fast, and now I'm sweating bullets, and it pisses me off. Plus, I'm sick, so that's not fun. But anyway, give these guys their stuff. A cool bucket hat, thank you. A warm scarf, thank you. Since you're a snowman, I don't think you would want a scarf, but whatever. What a kind man you are, we thank you. As a reward for your kindness, we shall tell you our secret. <laughs> a secret passage. Please pass through here with many thanks and blessings from the snowmen. Sweet. So, this must be the way to the Crystal Palace. And a save point. <laughs> I'm getting excited. The, uh... My favorite part of the game is coming up. How do I cross this? Oh, do I... There we go. Cool. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, guess we can fight these guys. Need to get the star points. We're pretty close to leveling up too, and I'm yeah. Next, I'm pretty sure we do uh, HP, so that'll be nice to have. Ah, four damage. 
These enemies are definitely getting tougher. <laughs> and my action commands are still not doing too well. I was playing TTYD a while ago, like yesterday I think I was playing it. And so uh, my action commands might be st still be a bit off since I'm... Uh, God damn it. Since I uh, was playing that game, might be used too used to the action commands there. But I don't know, I think they're pretty similar. Except I've taken, like, a whole bunch of damage just from this fight alone. Can't seem to get the blocking action commands very well. But I, <coughs> I guess we'll level up decently soon, so... All right, What's a, what awaits us up ahead? A piranha plant, that's what awaits us. Uh, more of you guys, okay, yeah, you know what? <laughs> we are just gonna do this, especially since we're leveling up decently soon. Probably won't kill them, but it'll, yeah. God, six damage, that's ridiculous. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna need to heal. And hopefully this kills this guy, because that guy does the most damage. <coughs> oh man, I... Uh... I can already tell I'm not going to be able to record very much, maybe like an episode or two, because uh, I actually already recorded, uh, I don't know if they'll be up yet by this point, but I recorded three episodes of Zombie that I uh, started Let's Playing, uh, which is the PC release of Zombie U, the Wii U game, and uh, <laughs> having done those, I uh, I guess my, my voice is already kind of strained. I don't know if you can tell, but I wanted to get some Paper Mario done, too, because that's kind of my main series. Um, so, you know, but I don't think I'm gonna... I don't know if I'm gonna get very far, because it's, it's kind of hard to talk right now. Again, why you shouldn't record when you're sick, but, you know, <laughs> this is how I roll, I guess. No, we're not in good shape. I don't think we're going to die as long as we kill at least one of these, though. Yeah, we're fine. We'll be able to take care of him. It's also harder to come up with, like, things to say when you're sick. I don't know, just because <coughs> my brain is focusing so much on being sick. I can't, uh, I can't think of things to talk about. Besides, you know, the fact that I'm sick. Let's see, how many healing items do I have? Just one. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, so I can hit that with coops. What are you? Are you an item? Pebble. Throat to damage one enemy. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to hit that switch with coops. Or rather, Cooper. There we go. Sweet. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I remember this. Hmm? No! What's wrong with my eyes? You look just like me. Imposter, who are you really? Tell me your name. I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? Wh wh what That's impossible. I'm the one and only Cooper. You're talking crazy talk now. You're making no sense. I'm the genuine Cooper. Really? Come on, Mario. You know me. This guy's a big liar. I'm not lying. Mario, you know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? 
Shut up, shut your mouth, goody goody. I'm his buddy. Yeah, that's it. Why, you? You're the one who should shut his mouth. I'm his buddy. Listen, moron, er, Mario, you have to decide who's lying. I'm the- it's the only way. Pick the one you think is lying and whack him really hard with the hammer. Fine, yeah, fine with me. If you think you'll get away with a trick like that, fine. I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. Well, I think it's pretty obvious since you're the one who said moron. I can talk to him. I'm not worried. You and I go way back, Mario. I know you know who I am. Don't listen to this idiot. Look at him. He's a liar. Go ahead. Hit him. Hit him. <laughs> this guy thinks he can pull the wool over your eyes, Mario. Don't let him get away with it. Hit him as hard as you can. Yeah, you're obviously the one. Yeah, and it's a dupless. Or I, I don't know if this is actually called a dupless, but uh, it's a precursor to dupless in TTYD. One of my favorite villains. Probably not my favorite Paper Mario villain, that's probably Dementio, but still, Dupless is pretty cool, and this guy's a precursor to him. Yo, what made you think I was the one lying, huh? It must have been luck, no one has instincts that good. Don't be such a crybaby, you lost. What were you thinking, trying to trick Mario like that? What? Shut up, I'll trick you! And we're low on health, so that's fun. <laughs> um, wish I had... Well, I guess I could switch to Goombario since I have a uh, quick change and have him tattle. Um, Mario's gonna heal because <laughs> we're low on health here. Maybe we'll level up after this fight, I don't know. Alright, tattle him. A Dupla Ghost. I'm just gonna call it a Dupless because it looks like Dupless and does the same thing Dupless does. Dupla Ghost disguise themselves as members of our party. Max HP 15, attack power 4, defense power 0. They love to attack in disguise. It seems like they're generally stronger fighters when they're not disguised, though. Alright, now we're fighting two Goombarios, apparently. Uh, let's see. How can I do a bunch of damage to them? I guess power jump. And one is dead. Awesome. I'm trying to kill them as fast as I can so I don't take too much damage. I don't know, maybe we won't level up. It only says three start points, and this one's probably going to give us another three. Yeah, only six. We're close, though. Probably next fight. Bye. So I think this means we're getting close to the Crystal uh, Palace, because those Dupla Ghost guys are all over it. Not going to fight you yet. I want to see what's up here. Ooh, upgrade block. Okay. Um, who should we upgrade? Our options are Paracarry and Black of Lester. Literally everyone else is upgraded. So Airlift or Hurricane to blow all enemies out of the battle. Well, Hurricane is obviously better, because Airlift is one enemy and Hurricane is multiple, so we'll go with Lack of Lester. And then after this, Paracarry is going to be the only one left. So yes, upgrade Lack of Lester. Yay. Lack of Lester is upgraded to Ultra Rank. Cool. And we're going to switch right back to Goombario. <laughs> okay, um... I'm nervous because I don't want to die and lose like all my health. Actually, you know, I'm gonna switch to um, Bombette because she can hit like multiple enemies. So if there are a lot of enemies, fuck. Then uh... okay. <laughs> um, hmm. If I can't defeat them, they do four damage. I might be dead. Um. Crap, what do I... And I can't... Well, I guess I could refresh. I was, I'm was. i hoping to use Smooch, because that's three, and I'm almost there. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have Bombette Mega Bomb. Hopefully that kills them. If not, though, I have a plan. Okay, didn't kill them. 
but I will refresh because that's the only way I can heal here. So, or actually, I could take a risk and use Starstorm. I mean, that'd be 14 damage. I don't. But that I don't know. That might not be enough. Uh, let's let's play it safe. We're gonna refresh. It'll only heal five, but that'll be enough to keep us alive. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, power smash. And now hopefully this will kill him. Let's bomb just to be safe. We're going to level up after this anyway. Yay, level up. And now HP. And next will be FP. 40 HP. Getting pretty high up there. Uh, okay, that, that makes me nervous. Why are there items in all three of these, and should I be concerned about taking them or not? Something tells me I shouldn't take those. Or wait a minute. Oh, I, I think I know what this is. These were left here uh, that one, in that peach uh, section when Kamek asked us what Mario hates the most. It was these, so I think we can take these and be fine. Or not. Well, we can put stuff in its place, though, so the pebble isn't that useful. Um, which of these is the strongest? Uh, shooting start is six. I think that does four, and this... Let's see. Thunder Rage does five. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep the shooting star and just leave everything else there, because I don't want to give up these items here. It'd be nice if we could find some healing items, like a shop or something, because I'm pretty low on items. What is down here? Oh, here's something we can blow up. What does this mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where are we? What is this? Is there another thing to blow up? Wait a minute, she walked through it. Oh, it's an invisible wall. That's cool. What? Hi. At last, it is Mario. I'm glad you found this place. I've been expecting you. Hmm, 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 ho, ho. Do you find it strange that I know of you? My name is Madame Merlar. I am a messenger of the stars. You know Merlin and Merlo well. I am their ancestor. The stars spoke to me of you through my dreams. They said you would come to the shrine on Shiver Mountain. Uh, it is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. We have little time to waste, so listen carefully. You may not know this, but the followers of Bowser have invaded Crystal Palace, where stars are honored. Now, what I have to tell you is very important. Listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole tale. In the interest of time, I'll be brief. So pay attention to the key points. The story begins a long, long time ago. I was still a young woman back then. A horrible thing happened on the mountain one day. Mario's gonna fall asleep. I ran there immediately and... But it was actually... Oh, such a sight. I was and it was so. It was none other so then than I... <laughs> this happens so much in, this, in these games. Mario falling asleep too long story. It's like a trope. <laughs> so that's why you must get Bowser's men out of the Crystal Palace, but... Hey, you, were you even listening to my story? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, okay then. As I was saying, you need the Star Stone to reach the palace. I'll give it to you. With this stone, you can open the way to the Crystal Palace. Go on, make haste. Hmm, do you think you understood my shortened version of the tale? It really doesn't do the story justice, you know. Perhaps one day I'll tell you the full story. Until then, good luck. Sweet. 
by dude. I forget your name. Uh, Starstone. Yay. All right. So, uh, wait, is there another hidden wall? I doubt it, but I have to check. No. Okay. Um, so I guess that means we have to take this somewhere, probably up above here. Because there's a staircase we didn't go, on, go in or go up. Yeah, here we go. Starstone. That's a long staircase. Cool. Well, let's go up this long staircase and see where it leads, presumably to the palace. And there's an enemy. I uh, don't really want to fight you, but I want to see what else there is. Ugh, badge. Gimme. I'm going to have to fight him. Mega jump. Or er, mega jump. Mario stomps on the single enemy using tons of attack power. Cool. Oh boy, that's a lot. <laughs> Um, okay. Star Storm, and then Mega Bomb, and hopefully that'll kill them. Hopefully. Yeah, we're definitely nearing the end of the game. <laughs> That's why there's a lot of strong enemies. And uh, Mega Bomb, kill them! Yes, ha! Okay, lots of coins, 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 coins. I'm curious about Mega mega Jump. What is, uh, th okay, only 3 BP. I'm guessing it's just a more powerful version of uh, Power Smash, kind of like Mega Smash here. But I don't have enough BP to put that on, so we'll wor maybe worry about that later. Now what's over this way? A save block. Well... I would normally end the episode here since we're at a save block, but I can't do that when we're just outside the Crystal Palace. That would just be that would just be a dick move. And a healing block, that is nice. And is this the Crystal Palace? Almost. This this is it. And here we are inside the Crystal Palace. Well, I guess uh I guess this is a good enough point as any to uh, end the episode, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.